Hi everyone, this is Arcadius and welcome back to Naval Creed. Today we'll be going over the first out of three missions for the current event, and that is for the newest sister ship, uh, and it will be going towards the Russian cruiser Japayev. Uh, this is Shalkov, and this is what you'll be working yourself towards. Now, this uh, event actually ends in a couple days, so if you don't already have the ship, then it's not a high chance that you'll actually get it. But if you are really bound and determined, then I'm going to show you how these levels are, and hopefully you'll be able to get it yourself. That's a nice little sister ship. I really like the snow on the deck. Um, besides that, it's a nice red color, but I don't really care for the Christmas decorations all that much. Regardless, this is what you're working for, and as mentioned, we have three missions to go through. We have a lightweight, we have an ultimate, and we have a solo mission. And surprisingly, the solo mission is so far the easiest, or at least in my experience. Even the lightweight is actually pretty difficult, and we're going to see if we can win today. I was going to try and mix it up and try and not use battleships for this event, considering I always use battleships. However, it's not one that I can just use a destroyer or a cruiser on. So unfortunately, we're still going to be using battleships, but we're going to try and use ones that we don't normally use. Or events, or at least ones that I don't. So we always see a lot of Montanas and Kerfers. Um, we're going to try and use British L3 or Centurion today. We're going to try and take on the first mission. Um, so this is the missions, uh, they have the tentacles. So we've seen this before in the past. The ships have the tentacles on them and yeah, so forth, so forth. The first mission doesn't actually have the actual tentacles that you shoot themselves. There's tentacles on the ships, but they're just normal ships. You have a Shinano, a Midway, two Vinettos, and three Richelieu's. And on your side, you have two Gascognas, a British cruiser, Albemarle, which is the newest heavy cruiser, or one of them. And you also have a friendly Shalkov, or Jabayev. So you don't really have much in terms of your own team, and the enemy team... You can take out the carriers pretty quickly, which is essential because those carriers will absolutely mess you up if you let them live. But the Richelieu's are also those super strong, you can shoot them as many times as you want and they will take pretty much no damage kind of ships. Uh, I've had many games where I just struggled to do any kind of damage against them. They just soak up so many shells and it does absolutely nothing. I have mentioned this in the past and was hoping that they'd be able to fix it, but nothing's happened so far. So we've had these really super tanky Richelieu's, which for some reason always get citadels on you, even if they only have 15 inch guns. So we're going to try and take L3. Uh, the reasons why I don't take L3 is because she doesn't normally have high explosive. Well, actually, she doesn't always have high explosive, and usually that's a big factor if you can't damage a ship with armor piercing usually you just switch to high explosive and burn the ship that doesn't really work against the richelieu's they just shatter the he shells and don't even light on fire so maybe the long fuse armor piercing will help in that regards uh, also her accuracy is completely unmatched and that is something that is found in all of the british battleships she doesn't have the most AA defense, but like I said, if you're able to take out the carriers first, then you don't really need to worry about that. Secondaries are not actually terrible. Would not recommend getting into secondary range, though. Well, let's see what our range is. 5 km. And I don't think I have the skill for it. Um, nope, nope. We're working on AA, and I have full accuracy. Alright, so yeah, we're a long-range sniper through and through. We do have pretty decent armor. We can be citadeled, um, but it's not as common as something as in like Yamato or Super Yamato or even Montana. So hopefully we'll be able to shake off some damage. We do have a super heal. We have three of them. Yeah, this one. Oh, yeah, we got three of them. So all in all, I think we are pretty decently set up. Uh, the other two missions for the ultimate... I haven't figured out what I'm going to use for that one yet. Maybe France. And then for the solo mission, I was able to beat it actually just today in Kerr First, or H42. And that was actually relatively easy, believe it or not. You just have to pace yourself and don't rush and overextend and know when to retreat. Um, but yeah, it's not that hard. So we're going to toss ourselves into this first mission here. 
Uh, light to easy mode for newcomers of being able to create warships. Uh, it's still, it's still pretty difficult. All right, so we're going to try it and do it by ourselves. You can't do it with the team. For the first two missions, you can do it with the team, but the second one, or the last one, the solo mission, uh, you cannot do it with the team. You have to do it by yourself. All right, so here we go. Midway, Shinano, three Richelieu's, two Minettos. We have two Lafayettes, or the Gascognas. We have an Albemarle, and we have a Chalco. And this is the British Cruiser. Uh, remember, we'll go over these once they are all out for testing. However, if you do not have them or are not testing them, they are very, very fun, and they do hit hard. And so the first thing we're going to see is the Midway and the Shinano. Well, technically, we're going to see them all at the same time, but we want to shoot the Midway first because that's an easy, just absolute deletion right there. And it looks like all the team members are going to go to the left. So you do want to stick with your team. Last time I did this mission, I was in the Katarina, and I didn't pay attention. And I was able to survive and beat the mission, but I was on my own for a while, and every single shot that I got hit with did damage. Which, if you're in a Nekaterina, you don't have that much health, so every little shot hurt. And it did add up over time. I think I beat it with only maybe less than 10k health. Alright, so let's see what we have. Gotta wait for them to pop out. I don't want to be the first one they see, because then I'll be the first one to shoot at. Uh, here's the other Christmas camels we've had in the past on the Gascognos. And then there's Jalco, if you can see her in the background. Alright, so there's the Shinano. It's nice to see her. And there's the Midway. Alright, so let's see if we can take her out really quick. As you can see, there's tentacles on the ship, but no actual tentacles that you need to shoot at. Accuracy is pretty good. I haven't actually used Centurion in a while, so I might take some time to get used to the shell velocity, but it seems to be pretty okay. We already have one Citadel on this Midway. And I think she's going to keep turning. So we're going to put another set uh, around right there. You can see the accuracy is pretty impressive on this ship. Yep, not enough lead. i got to put more. Okay. Let's speed up a bit. Some more lead. She turning in, she is turning in. So that might actually make me miss. Well, maybe she's not. And there we go. One ship down. Three citadels right there. And hopefully this Lafayette will be able to take the torpedoes that will hit me. I'm not afraid to sacrifice teammate like that. Though it was meant for the Gascogna anyway, so. Boom, boom, cool. Next, um, where is Carrier? Carrier is right there. Now, I don't have high explosive, remember, so I can't light the carrier on fire to stop it from shooting me. Or launching aircraft, I should say. But I can do a ton of damage with my main guns, and I'm actually not in the best position right now because... Trying to use all my guns kind of means I'm overextending. But we're going to try and take out the Shinano as quickly as possible. And try not to attract any of the attention of the other ships right now. And maybe a Citadel or two would be nice. Because once I take out this carrier, I can go back to a more comfortable range. And start working over all these other ships. And I think I'm going to focus on the Venettos first. Because those are those seem pretty normal to me. Um, yes, they are strong. They're very strong battleships in the game. But they're not invincible. And if you shoot them, they will take damage. So, anything's better than just shattering shells. And then this last set should finish off the Shinano. I'm very... Oh, yep, that hurt. Uh, happy that the carriers just don't run away to the edge of the map. We've seen that sometimes happen. There we go. There's a carrier. And yep, we are now the focus. So time to go. 
Um, but yeah, so the carriers sometimes run to like an edge of the map and just hide. So I'm glad they stay in a spot where we can actually shoot them. Alright, so we're going to retreat a little for right now, open up the range. We are the favorite, and we don't want to be shot at by five battleships. But we're going to work over these ships for a little bit. I'm not going to heal yet, I don't really need to. And honestly, all these bots are going to go down. So I need to save my heroes for when I need them. But now that we eliminated all the air threat, we just have to work over the remaining surface threats. More good damage. Alright, we're falling in behind our team, which is going to give broadside the entire time, so they're going to go down pretty quickly. But I think we should be okay. We're going to try and take out the two Venettos before our team sinks. Let's see if we can do that. There goes one, Giscogna. Now, I don't actually know how the MAP works on these uh, ships. I haven't really used it. Like I said, I don't normally use British battleships in events. Uh, they just seem inferior to me, even though they have ex excellent accuracy. Now, I'd rather take Rate of Fire and damage over time than accuracy. That's why I like French battleships with the reload booster, like uh, Jeanne d'Arc and Alsace. Even though she doesn't have the reload booster, she still has 12 15-inch guns. And they do pack a punch. But you can see here, the accuracy on the ship, amazing. There goes one Veneta. We still have both of our teammates left. But we're going to lose this Lafayette soon. That was a good hit on the Veneta by someone. All right, let's get one salvo before she goes behind the island. You're not burning, so you can survive a little longer. 18,000. Nice. Yep, there goes the other one. Might as well send uh, Salvo towards the Richelieu here. Or one of three. Let's see how we can do. Let's see how Centurion does against these Richelieu's. Okay, not going to complain about that. That was actually some pretty decent damage. Let's finish off this Veneto as she peeks around the corner here. And honestly, I don't envy the position of this Chapaya. I would never want to be in a position where I'm going up against four battleships in a light cruiser like that. You're I'm just going to be absolutely destroyed so quickly. It's not even fun. Alright, oh, almost less than a thousand health. Jabaya was giving complete broadside to three battleships, so she'll go down really, really quickly. But we can take that time to finish off the Veneto here. And get some good damage on these Richelieu's in the meantime. There goes the Veneto. And there goes the Jabaya. Well, almost. There we go. Alright, so time to just work over these suckers, and they're all going to be ripple firing at me, which means it's going to be extremely hard for me to actually do any damage. I need to focus on one. Now we're going to heal. Well, let's go back to this one. I feel like I should bow tank these, so I'm going to turn myself around and start bow tanking. Five ricochets of 18-inch guns on a Richelieu. Yeah. Okay. So I am exposed right now in the turn. But I should be able to make it. Pretty okay. I'm going to just use my front guns and bow tank. Because I have the accuracy and I don't really need to get close. Just have to whittle them down a little bit by bit. And Richelieu's don't really have that impressive of secondaries, so we should be okay. But I don't plan on getting into secondary range, so. They're still going to overpen and pen through my superstructure, 
but at least they're not going to get any really big hits, or at least they shouldn't. Three shatters. On what? I'm shooting the back. <laughs> you can kind of see how it can be frustrating to go against ships like this, where it just doesn't make sense. I'm shooting waterline, and I just, I'm not getting the damage I'm, I should be getting, I feel. Okay, there was five pens. That one was solid. I will accept that. And L3 might not have the best armor, but at uh, about on angle, I think I should be okay. And I still have two heals anyways. Which I will probably end up needing, honestly. Five pens and another shatter on something. But no citadels. It's actually pretty much impossible to citadel these Richelieu's. In a normal battle, Richelieu's are not that hard to citadel, especially if you're close. Uh, you can just aim underneath the turrets and it'll go right to the citadel. But on events, these are some one of the strongest ships in the game, honestly. Yep, there was a big hit right there. Pen through the deck. And you just see how long it takes to take down one of these ships. And there's in the next mission, there's four of them. Plus a bunch of other ships. So, yeah, you can see... Ooh, that was a good hit. So you can kind of see how it gets a lot harder. But in the solo mission, you don't actually have any of these ships. Which is probably why it's the easiest. At least in my opinion. Alright, so we are just about done with this one. Just gotta slowly work it over. There we go, finally. Next. Mm, this one has more health. I guess we can start working on this one. But you can clearly see that your teammates did not survive very long. So if you did not take the carriers out, at this point you would be trying to avoid the citadel sniping impervious Richelieu's while also being under air attack from a Shinano and a Midway. Which a Shinano is bad enough. Um... So, yeah, you're just trying to not be focused on more than one target at a time. You have to priori prioritize your target. So, in the first case, it's going to be the carrier. Carrier, carrier is plural. Uh, so, midway, because she's an easy kill if you have the right ship. And then you just have to slowly work over Shinano. You can sit it on Shinano. It's not that common, however. And then... I would say go over to the Venetos because they're actually really, really strong. And you can do a bunch of chunk damage if you have a good battleship and just work them down just like I did. And then you just have to try and not die to Richelieu's. If you have a bow tanking ship like I am right now, you may have better success. But if you're also trying to do the kiting kind of gameplay where you're running away from the enemy and ain't... Uh, turning your ship to give all of your guns that can work but it will take longer i did that with a katarina trying to use armor piercing and high explosive and it was not really doing anything at all um i ended up rushing with said a katarina with no heals left and like quarter health and it worked out um but yeah i shouldn't have had a rush because she's not really a rushing ship Okay, so this Richelieu is turning into us. I could use MAP, but by the time I load it, she's already going to be turned all the way around. So let's actually just send a salvo this way. Let's stop right now as well. And then we should be able to take on this Richelieu once she's done her turn. Ooh, big hit. So yeah, prioritize your targets, go from easiest, or I should say what's easiest, to what's the biggest threat. So in all cases, it's going to be the carriers, because two top tier carriers, definitely not going to survive long against those, no matter what you're doing. Oh, that accuracy. There we go, awesome. Poppy heal, why not? 
And then you just have to work yourself down. Rituals are going to be very hard to destroy. Um, I was actually going to play this mission with Defender, or the top tier British Destroyer. And then I thought a lot better of it, because I don't think that would work very well. So yeah, we're using top tier battleship stuff. But we're using ones that we haven't normally tried, and we might actually get a chance to try out our long fuse armor piercing here. Because that, yep, that's not a good angle for armor piercing right now. I'm still going to try, but it's all going to bounce. Alright, let's switch to long fuse armor piercing. There's nothing she can really do against me right now. Five pens for no damage. Yep. Welcome to Event Richelieu's. So she did speed away a lot quicker than I expected. So my MAP is probably just going to shatter because it's not good on broadsides. I'll take over pens too. That'll work out. Alright, we just kind of Finish her off. It's not a very exciting gameplay, unfortunately, but no, it works, it works. It's not an easy game, so do whatever it takes to win. Also, the Richelieu's can fire their main guns without actually having to look at you. Uh, sometimes they'll shoot... Yeah, look at that. They'll shoot you, and their guns will be pointing directly like 90 degrees away from you. I've had that happen. I've had them shoot through the tower behind them towards me. I've had them shoot to, uh, through islands sometimes. So yeah, there's a little bit of work to be done on them. So just don't expect that you're completely free of not being shot at. Um, okay, let's see if we can finish off here. Though she is moving quite a bit. Pen for no damage. Love it. Let's go back to MAP. But yeah, we're just rolling it out. Can't really do much here. Maybe we'll get some no shots here though. That'd be nice. Now I'm just going to stick with MAP because if she's going to continue doing donuts... Ooh, that was nice. Two citadels. Okay, so, well, at least we know they can be citadeled. And with that, we just pretty much won the game. Next shot should be able to finish her off. That was beautiful. All right. And here we go. Let's finish her up. That one shell. Oh, no, we missed. Okay. All we need is one over pen. And we win. All right, there we go. Do we got it now? Oh, that should worry there for a second. Okay. Yep, and there's the first mission. So can be pretty difficult. Uh, if you don't have a good strategy and a good ship. But not entirely impossible either, as you can see. But it definitely will take a bit of work. And probably multiple times. If you keep giving broadside to um, battleships, you're going to take a lot of damage. Because they have citadel seeking rounds. Just the way they are. So we had 466,000 damage, 7 ships sunk, 223 shell hits. 11 aircraft shot down, 6 citadels, and yeah, pretty good damage all the way around. We had the lowest number of damage we had was on the Veneto with only 32,000. Everything else was 67 and higher. Uh, so we pretty much beat all of it. So there's the first mission uh, out of three. We'll be going over the second one tomorrow. If you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe for further content. And like I said, join me tomorrow when we go over the second mission, which is the ultimate mission uh, to be determined what ship I will be using. Probably France, maybe. I will need a team, so it'll be depending on what the team is. But we're going to try and use 
top tier ships that we haven't used before. Um, maybe I'll use Kremlin too. I haven't used Kremlin yet. Um, but yep, yeah, I'll finish up today's video. Once we finish up these, we'll be going over some of the newer ships, such as Virginia. And then the update is, and what's today? Sunday. So we've got three days. So maybe the last ship for the American destroyer tech tree line will be out by then somers and we'll be able to play her as well and then we'll be able to go over all of these ships also i have renamed porter selfridge because she just looks like a selfridge to me that's the only reason it was a ship uh, the second ship of the porter class so it's not entirely inaccurate but it just makes more sense to me all right, so that's my last little tidbit of information i will see you all tomorrow so again thank you for watching and have a good day